right, today we're going to cook up some delicious stuff. And we're going to highlight a product that was sent to us to, to give a try, and it's a Michelangelo's 10 piece knife set. But look at these nice knives. There's five knives, and they come with their own sheet. So I'm going to use this one. We're going to cut beans, but there's a paring knife and a bread knife, a uh, chef's knife, and then just a knife here. So be sure and check these out. I'll have the link uh, in the description for the Amazon link to check these out, but they cut so good. We just have some fresh green beans, and I'm just going to cut the ends off because we're going to make some cast iron skillet green beans on the barbecue. I got my briquettes going there. And then we're going to cook uh, a ribeye steak with indirect heat and some corn on the cob. So you just want to cut the ends off, but yeah, look how good that slices. Awesome. I want to thank them for sending me this product. Yeah, this is this is good. They work so good. So there's that. So what I want to do is this little olive oil. I'm just going to put a little in the skillet here. And I'll put my beans in. And uh, these, once we start cooking these, they'll cook for about 10 minutes, and then we're going to put a dressing on and stuff. So I'm going to make the dressing now. So what I have here is we're just going to cut a lemon. Look at that. Slices right through that lemon. Juice this lemon up. Using the juicer, right, Jenny? <laughs> you did it the hard way. I thought I was doing it a little bit backwards, but it's working, huh? Yep. <laughs> it's a new item, but yeah, this juicer works pretty dang good too. Maybe we'll put a link to this in the description. You guys can check one of these out. But yeah, they work so good. So we'll do that. We'll put a link to the juicer. <sighs> That looks pretty good. So let's put it in here. Like that. And I have some uh, stone ground Dijon mustard. Put about a tablespoon of that in. A little salt and pepper. Like so. this up so yeah once we'll cook those beans get them going when they're almost done this will go over the top we have some garlic to go over the top too so once the briquettes are going we'll go to the next step we'll get the corn going and uh, we'll see you back shortly okay Jenny showed me how to use the juicer and I've used it before but this goes in this and then you just do this and the juice goes down in there so I'm sure there's a little more so there's, that's how that works. And so lemon, or if you have limes, it has a lime side. And then uh, we're, we need to put a tablespoon of olive oil in here too. So we'll do that. That dressing's ready. The briquettes are about ready to start cooking, so we'll see you back. Okay, we're ready, the coals are ready. So what I did is I, I put uh, the coals like in a little L shape right here. There's no coals right here. That's where I'm gonna put the steak. But we're going to cook some corn on the cob, just right in the husk. It usually takes about 45 minutes, so I'll just L-shape the corn the way those briquettes are. And then here's our nice ribeye. Just going to put right there. And then we'll put a temperature probe in. I want to get this up to about 120. So 120, I'm going to add, add more coals to that. We'll give the barbecue up to like 500 degrees. At that point, we'll start cooking the beans. We'll sear the steak. It's going to be a good time. So we'll see you back. Okay, let's do this. My temperature probe malfunctioned, so we're going to do this manually. But I think what I want to do is get this up to like 90 degrees. And then we're going to flip it. 
So let's put that in there. But yeah, look at these corns. I'll just kind of roll these. Look at that. Well, actually, the steak's like climbing. It's like right around 110. That's okay. So let me pull that out. And let's turn this over. Mm. Like so. Look at that. I have, have my other uh, charcoal chimney going over there. Because when this, I think probably 10 or 15 minutes, and then we're going to load this sucker up with coals. We'll finish the corn off. We're going to sear that steak. And we're going to cook them cast iron skillet beans. So good times. Okay, we're ready. The steak got up to temperature. It was like 122, so I pulled it off. And it's sitting there. We're just waiting for the other uh, briquettes to get ready. But let's get this going. So yeah, look at that corn. I'm just going to pull that off so I can get this grill off. We're gonna load this, load this up. So let me grab the charcoal chimney. I'm just gonna fill this up. I want it hot. We're gonna sear the steak. We're gonna cook the beans. Let's see. Where's my tongs? My there they are. My charcoal tongs. Yeah, look at that. That's <laughs> pretty good. This is just what we want. We'll do that. We'll put the grate back on. And let's set the corns. I'm going to kind of set them off to the side. They've been cooking for a while. Let's get these beans. Look at that. I'm just going to set it right over the heat. Oh, we're not on the, the grill just right. Let's get this on there. There we go. Okay. Let's put that right there. I'm just trying to scoot that corn there, and then here's the ribeye. Look, look at this. Oh man, that is awesome. Now we just want to so sear this. So there we go. Look at that corn. It started on fire, but it's okay. It's going to be delicious. This should take about 10 minutes. With the handle there, it's okay. I'm just gonna stir those beans. We'll keep you posted and we'll see you You're back. You're burning the corn. <laughs> that steak is done. That steak is done. So is the corn. Huh? What? Not quite yet. It's 125, 126. We're going to sear it. Yeah, I think it's this is going to be good. Hold the 129. So a couple more minutes. We'll pull the steak, the corn. We'll get those beans done. Okay, this is going good. We're going to pull the steak and the corn. And then we're going to finish the beans off. But look at that. Look at how juicy that steak is. That is so good. We'll just set it right there. We'll just cover it a little bit. And then let me grab a glove. We'll pull this corn off. Like that. And then here's the beans. So let's go ahead and, uh, get, here's the garlic. It's hot, huh? Put the garlic on there. You almost need a glove. Look at those hot coals. Oh, that looks good. Where's my hand? Give it a toss. I'll give it a toss, but I need a glove. Yeah, we want these. Oh, look at that. There's a little corn strap. No, let's get that out of there. Mmm, smells so Yummy. good. Yummy. <laughs> that garlic smells so good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. There's that. You want to put the dressing in now? Or do we want to wait five minutes? 
when you pull it off, we'll put the dressing in. Okay, so we'll let that cook for a little bit. When it's all done, we're gonna pour that dressing over it. Two or three more minutes, I think. Here we go, we're having a good time. Everything's ready. So I'm, look at those beans. Delicious. I'm just gonna pull these off the heat and set them right there. Take that glove off and I'll switch it for the left hand glove. And we're gonna get this dressing we made earlier. Let's pour this on here. Oh. Oh, that smells so good. You can smell that mustard. Delicious. Look at those hot coals. That's pretty cool. You can cook some marshmallows over that. Dessert. I didn't think of that. Next time we'll have to get some marshmallows. Let me put that in there. So let's try this out. So. Here's the steak. Let's get that right there. Tongs. We're going to use the purple knife and try the steak. Oh, my. <laughs> pretty good. Ooh, perfect. That cuts right through that. Delicious. Hmm. Oh, that is so good and tender. Yummy. I'm going to have another bite. Mm. Mm. That is so good. i got to look at that steak for a minute. Hang on. Okay. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. It is so juicy. I can't believe how juicy that is. That is one of the juiciest steaks I've had. But let's show you this corn. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful. There's a step right. Look at this corn. Mm, so yummy. this was on there about 45 minutes. If you've watched our videos, we'd love to cook this corn on the cob because it's so easy. You just cook it right in the hus. Mmm. Yummy. So good. There's that. And then here we have our cast iron skillet green beans. Mm. Oh, that is so good. You wouldn't think you'd put mustard on beans, but it's pretty dang good. Mmm. There we go. Mm. Yummy. It's a little hot, but it's yummy. So yeah, hope you like this video. We'll see you next time. Corn is just the best. <laughs>